you can use the Mesh Builder Preset. Just click here and you will be uh, guided on the workflow. So first select the files here and then define which kind of scanners you use to get those data. So I don't really know about that one, so I will select unknown. The software asks you if the data is pre-aligned. Not really, so I will uncheck that. So I will get five steps afterwards. If I press next, then the software asks me if I want to remove some undesired data. Maybe I got some bad points here, so I will just filter the cluster here. So the software will select all the data which are not really right, and I will put it in trash. Okay, if you want to get more points out of that, like you can increase the number of points and find nausea clusters again. And so the software will make a more, a more aggressive selection on the cloud. Then if you go to the next step, you can make the pre-alignment. So as we did before, uh, I can select one cloud cloud one by one. So the reference is going to be there. The moving is going to be there. And I will select minimum three points on each cloud. This time I will just check that and press OK. So I will just select three points and just click on OK when you are selecting those points. All right, then go to the next one here and select again the three points. And the three points on the initial one, even though it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Then select the next cloud and go to top view here and select the three points over there and the three points over there. Okay, and then continue until you reach the end. Try to find the best view to align it. So here it's going to be maybe on that view. And select again the three points over here and over there to finally get the last cloud here. And maybe that view is going to be the best one. And you see that my alignment is really awkward right now, but at the end, it will be okay. All right, so that alignment is done, and I can press next. So now the software is going to try to find a better solution on that. Uh, I will select all my clouds and add the so ask the software to make a better job. I did my pre-alignment job. Software will make the fully alignment method. This is okay, and I can press next and. Finally, I will add the software to create the mesh from that, those clouds and just press OK at the 5 out of 5 and then the software will build it for you. All right. So, of course, if you have no data on some areas, you have holes. So what you can do with those parts, which are roll parts, you could unroll this cloud. So to start with, you need first to get a, a sketch. So I will just make a mesh sketch on this plane, for instance, and I will just get a point at the bottom. So I want to get a point here, roughly there in this position. Okay, and I will make that point on that line. here and I make sure that it's touching that area. This point has to be a real point so I will just ask the software to extract this position and then from the mesh I will <coughs> ask the software to unroll this mesh. So if I go to mesh polygons I will click on unroll. Target is going to be that mesh, the axis is going to be the y-axis, and my split point is going to be that point. That this radius 317, and I press OK. So here the software is going to compute an unroll method on that one. So you can see the mesh, it's unrolled, but you can see that it just unrolled in one direction. 
if you want to enroll it in the other direction also, you could just display that and create, edit your sketch. And so you can make a, another mesh sketch here and get the shape of that tire. So I need to create here to convert this axis uh, and I need to make arcs to know how to enroll it. So I will hide those axes, make that one as a construction, create here a center line. And from that, I will just put that line at the transition there and make tension arc from here to there. And I will create tires, tire uh, shape that I got here. Now, this is half of it. I will just make a mirror. And symmetry line is that one. And the, the entity I want to mirror is those entities there. OK, now if I go back to my mesh, I can unroll it again. But this time, target is going to be the tire, the y-axis, the split point is still the same. But I will flatten and curl using the shape I defined with curves, with, uh, with arcs. And OK, so now the software is going to unroll in two directions around the, the y-axis and also using that shape. So now you can see it's flattened at the same time. Now, when you're working with this type of file where you have some shapes or regions you need to average to make to extract the, the better solution, you can use the average operation you have in polygons. So polygons average mesh, you can just select all the meshes here you want to average. So of course, it's not average in the same position. You will ask the software to make the average and to make the alignment. So here you can define that. You can also define your reference. So if I go to the side view here, maybe I want the reference to be that one or, or either one you want to have. So maybe I would like to have this one or the following one here, the horizontal one, and then you can define by yourself or as the software to define the axis, center axis, and the offset angle. If I keep it like that, software is going to compute that, to compute the average mesh on that. And you can see that the shape I got here is represented by the shape I selected at the beginning. You have all the errors and you can tell the software, I want to remove that maximum error of uh, five millimeters here because that one is not right. Or you can tell the software, but finally, I would prefer maybe to use a mesh which is a little bit more completed. Maybe that one, the, the previous one. And next. Again, the software is going to compute the average, make the alignment, and give you the average mesh on that. All right. And then you press OK. You get the average mesh right here.